Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Anderson again. I have not had a chance to talk to you in so long. So today we're gonna to talk about writing. Now I know Mrs. Mensch has been teaching you about writing the past couple weeks, about writing a persuasive letter or an opinion letter. And you guys have talked about brainstorming ideas and then planning <coughs> how to write the letter, what you're gonna say. And the reasons, you always have to give reasons why you want something to change. And I know you've done problems at school and problems in the world and how you would like things different. So for the next couple weeks, we're gonna do some persuasive writing, a little bit different. It's called opinion writing, where you get to say why you like something or why you think something is better. Um, so I'm going to show you in your packets that mom and dad pick up for you, you're going to find some sheets that we're going to use. The first one looks like this, and this is just a bunch of different ideas in case you're stuck and you're not sure what to write about. So you can see it's animal toys, uniforms, apps, there's all different things. And you'll understand why after I explain the sheets you're going to do. So let me talk about opinion. Now here's an organizing sheet that you will have. So let's say I ask you, what is your favorite um, breakfast food? You might say cereal or waffles, or maybe some of you like eggs. So under I like, you would write I like eggs or I like waffles but then you always have to give a reason why why do you like them um, let's say you picked waffles reason one they're sweet reason two they're fun shapes maybe and you don't have to have reason three and four you might you might put that maybe Mom puts blueberries in them and you like blueberries. Whatever your reasons are, you have to be thinking. You don't have to write it down on this sheet. This is just for your brain to play on. The sheets you're gonna work on, there's gonna be three of them. I have to get them. They're all being stuck together right now. Maybe more than three. You'll get to pick. You'll have all of these in your packet. You might wanna write about your favorite class. And then there's all sorts of choices over here of what your favorite class is. Gym, art, math. This is for the picture. And they started your sentence for you because of course you're gonna write in complete sentences. I like, and pick one of them. So I like, let's say art. Well, you can't stop there, you have to give reasons. So the word you're gonna to wanna to start using is the word because. I like art because I'm good at drawing. I like art because I love to use paint or the pretty markers. I like art because I love to draw about nature. Whatever you wanna say, and I think you guys are good enough. You might be able to write two sentences. I really think you're able to do that. Give me two reasons why you like art or whatever class you pick. Now, another one you could pick that's in your packet is your favorite dinner. I like to eat. Remember, you can't just tell me tacos. You have to tell me the reasons why and use the word because I would pick um, I like pizza because I like the sauce I like the cheese it tastes delicious you decide what's another one we have oh they're all falling it's hard to teach like this everything falls what do you think the coolest animal is the coolest animal is oh look there's a neem a lemur I couldn't say that for a sec that's the one I read to you guys about. There's a sloth and you don't, I forgot to tell you, you do not have to pick one of these. You can pick your own. You can decide which animal you like. Then you'll also get a plain piece of paper that has a little boy on it, a plain piece of paper that has a little girl on it, 
and extra writing paper because maybe you want to give me your opinion about something different. Maybe you want to write about your favorite zoo animal. Maybe you want to write about your favorite Pokemon character. You decide. So if you don't want to use one of these sheets, don't throw them away. Don't scribble on them. You'll need them next week. Pick one of these plain sheets. But then you're going to have to write, I like. Of course, bye. You know, that's your name. That's pretty easy. And then the picture goes in the center. Even if you choose one of these sheets that has the picture, I want you to also illustrate on your own. So that is for today. You have to give me your opinion. But remember, uh oh, I lost the important card. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. He was hiding right on the table in front of me. Because you have to explain the reason why. So let me go over your sheets again, because they're going to be all stapled together. It's going to seem like a lot, but it's really not. This is just ideas. This is by itself. You can just set this aside if you don't need it. Then this is an organizer. You don't have to fill this one in. It's for your brain to think. I like waffles. Reason one, this is just for me to think. I like waffles because they taste so delicious or because they're good with syrup on them or I love blueberries in them. So this one, do you have to fill in? Nope, it's just to help you think, think, think. These are the ones you're gonna fill in. And only one, not all of them. Favorite class you can pick. Favorite dinner you could pick. The coolest animal you could pick. Or if you wanna tell me about your own favorite thing, pick one of the plain sheets. But when you're done, should you play with the rest? Should you throw them away? No, we'll need some of them next week. All right, you guys have a good time writing. I know it's not some of your favorites, but you guys have become such great writers. Do the best you can, stretch the words. Here's, oh, how about I put it the right way? Here's that tricky word, because. Do you have to spell it exactly right? No, it's a huge word, but you certainly can do the word B, that small chunk that's in there, and then stretch the rest. K, uh, z. Gotta remember it's an S, not a Z. So do great work today. Help out mom and dad, and hope you get to play outside. I'll talk to you tomorrow.